and welcome back to Felicity's Honey Farm. Tonight is day five of our Advent unboxing. We'll be unboxing 18 and 17 today. And so let's get started. Oh, before I forget, we're joined by my cousin Ray Lynn and we've known each other our whole life. <laughs> yes, we have. So. <laughs> and so um, she's also one of my best friends. So she she's agreed to do this with me. She does not like wine at all. And so it is going to be super interesting. When's the last yep. time you had wine? Uh, I don't even know. You don't know when the last time was? What's your preferred drink? Um, what is it? The harder lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be different then. Okay, so let's see. Let's unbox 19. You said 18. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay, so 18 is going to be a Malbec from Mendoza. Mendoza. Sounds like a Hispanic place. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, can you open it? <laughs> okay. And this is 14% alcohol. It's dark with the complex flavors of plum and black cherry and spice. Mm. Mm, that sounds really good. Okay, so on here says that we have to turn it sideways to pour it. So we will try this. I have the bad habit of giving Danny more. So I tried really hard not to do that. Let's see. No, that's fine. So we have to fill half and half. There, okay. Alright, so we are going to try this. Ooh, I like the smells. So I like red wines though. I'm pretty sure those are toe marks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that from my hand? She is also the mother of my godsons. So two of two of my godsons. Okay, so my mother-in-law says that to tell if the wine is good, you check to see if that's good, please. Okay, so we're going to try it. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's bitter. It's a little bitter. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit drier than I like my red wines, but... I would um, enjoy this for baking. You know what this would be really good in is these pochitos. No? You don't mm -hmm. like it at all? If you had to rate it from a 1 to 10. A 0. Oh. <laughs> so you wouldn't buy this at all? <laughs> what would you pair it with? A roast? <laughs> okay, so um, it says that it has flavors of plum. Black cherry and spice. Can you taste the plum? I taste the plum. Mm -hmm. The black cherry, not as much. And I love cherries. <laughs> the way you're I tasting taste, like, it. That was cute. <laughs> savor <laughs> it. Savor it. I feel like that's not how you taste one. No, it's cute though, because you were like, like a tiny bitty mouth. Did you say pepper? I said spice. No. I didn't mind it. So you were going to rate it at a zero? Maybe a one, because zero wasn't on the scale. <laughs> okay, well, was that good. was the Malbec. I wonder where Mendoza is. Oh, product of Argentina. <laughs> I feel like there's a song about Argentina. No? That was very strong. I didn't. Okay, so now we'll do day 17. And day 17 is a Pinot... Grigio, and it is, I'm not even going to try to say that, Terrace Salon IGT, it, nope, and it's a product of Italy. This one is 12.5%, and it is approachable, dude, that's what it says, <laughs> approachable, <laughs> and crisp with hints of ripe lemon and honeysuckle. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. Okay, here we go. I would be... A wino's best bartender because I have a heavy pour. Okay, you need to take a little bit more. There we go. Okay. You're doing really good for being that you never have any wine or anything. I have never had either of these ones though, so it'll be interesting to see. Okay, let's see. Mmm, I like it smell. I just smell the other one. <laughs> You got those fumes in your nose. <laughs> we need coffee beans. 
We do need coffee beans. That would be awesome. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Oh, and the perfume pile of the, the department stores. Okay, should we try? Yeah, I was yeah. going to try some and then I put it down. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. I like this one. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. Compared to the other one? It's still a little bit bitter. I taste the lemon in it. Really? I can't taste the lemon at all. It's not bad. Did they say apple? Or crisp? Mm. No honey. Honeysuckle. I don't taste any honey in it. Really? And I I like this one. I should have looked at what you could pair these ones with. Because I want to say that this one was a cheese. I think that you could... Or I think the Malbec was something you'd pair it with. That made a difference yesterday when I was trying them. Was having cake. This is Danny's birthday. So that made a difference in having it. When you had something to try it with. I'd eat it with cheese. <laughs> So rating it from a scale from 1 to 10, you'd rate it at a 4. Hmm. That's not bad. I'd actually give this one an 8 or even a 9. I like this one. Maybe not as much as I liked the Australian wines. These Australian wines are really good, but they're super high. So you, I don't know if you'd be a fan of them. This one's a little bit lower, so it's a 12.5. So the, the higher ones that I've tried are the 14%, and I've liked those ones. I prefer sweet. I don't feel like this is sweet. I know. After it still tastes bitter. <clears throat> so the way that this one works, and I didn't know, is that they have two of each one in the box. And so oh. um, actually, so the Chardonnay mm -hmm. from California are both of these ones. So we're tapped out on that one. We won't do any more of those ones. Then these two as well. We won't have any more of them. But all the rest of them we'll get one more time. So um, I, I don't mind this one. I wouldn't mind getting this one over again. There was one that I was not a fan of, the ones that were, oh no, the Chardonnay from California was the one I wasn't a fan of. But I don't mind it. What would you pair it with? Mm, some shrimp tacos. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we're missing something. What would you pair it with? What was your rating? Hmm. It's kind of bitter. Mm -hmm. You tasted the lemon and I tasted the honey in it. Hmm. But it wasn't bad. <clears throat> I would re-drink it if I had to. Would you buy this one? No. Yeah. The ones we have left to try are the rose wines and then we have a few more of the red and the white and the sparkling wine. I think you'll like the sparkling wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard the Zinfandel's good. The Zinfandel was good. <clears throat> I liked that one. Um, there was one, I think Danny tried that one with me, and she wasn't a huge fan. <clears throat> I really liked the Shiraz from Australia. That one was good. But, so what did you think of your wine? Mm -hmm. Not a wine. It did not taste. It did not. Uh, but at least you tasted it. Some people won't, won't even try it. So thank you for trying it. You're welcome. Okay, so we will do day... 16 and 15 tomorrow and then we are in our countdown to the six days of Christmas so don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on the bell so that way you get notified whenever I post a video thank you for watching thank you for joining me <laughs> okay so you just watched our day five of our advent wine unboxing and I just wanted to say thank you for watching my channel for uh, subscribing for liking and commenting on the videos Junie is going to photo bomb us again because she's in here again giving us some giving us some love I talk as if I'm Smeagol so I just wanted to say thank you for joining us for the videos it has been a lot of fun really the point of this was just to do an unboxing that was going to be fun something that I could do because I can't do a whole lot of certain stuff and so I was just really excited to be able to give you guys this con this content we are six days in so five days in so we have seven more and I just wanted to say thank you for joining us my cousins are amazing they are going outside of their comfort zone and yet they are doing so wonderfully about it and I'm so thankful and humbled to have them as my friends and my mom is just awesome she's one of my biggest supporters my husband as well I don't know if I could do this without him so I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching thank you uh, to my cousins for participating along with my husband and my mom and I hope to see you tomorrow on the funny farm